Next up is a better version of an often neglected household item. Hi Sharks, my name is Winston Mock and I'm the founder of Woosh. I'm seeking 500,000 for 10% in my company. Sharks, when was the last time you changed your home's air filter? If you're like most people, it's been a while since you thought about your filter and there's a good chance it looks like this. Mm. Isn't that absolutely disgusting? As filters get dirty, they stop working. And what this doesn't catch, you and your loved ones are breathing in. This includes pollen, pet dander, mold, smoke, bacteria, and... Ew. <laughs> even COVID. And that's why I created Woosh. A better air filter that's smart enough to know when it needs to be changed. Let me show you how it works. The smart air filter is made of two parts. A filter and a reusable frame. The filter is made from the highest quality materials and is placed inside the frame. The filter connects to Wi-Fi and has integrated sensors that track the performance of your filter. So, when it's time to change, we send a notification and a filter replacement in the mail. With Woosh, it's easier to use, smart, and produces less waste than traditional cardboard filters. So sharks, who's with me to Woosh for smarter, cleaner air? There's no intelligence to this. No, there's, there's smarts in it. There's electronics built in. We have integrated sensors that connect to Wi-Fi. It actually checks to see, it looks at the airflow and we actually measure the performance of your filter, actually, so we can see when it's time to be changed. So you've designed a better mousetrap. Yes. And what made you come up with this idea? Why a filter? So it was the wildfires in California that in 2019, uh, my partner, she came to me and said, oh, you know, we gotta be worried, like, should we get a purifier? Should we get some stuff? And I said, oh yeah, for sure. I'm kind of frugal, so I really wanted to make one. So I went on YouTube and learned how to make one from a box fan and a filter. <laughs> and when I got the filter, when I ordered the filter, it was 25 bucks to ship. And it's a high quality filter. But I was sitting there going, man, you know, why is this so expensive? So half of that cost is actually shipping. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if like I could change this and ship it for a lot less? So are you a tech guy, a software guy? What's your background pre? Pre this, I grew up in Canada. And Go so Canada. I took the opportunity to move to the US. I joined Google as a product manager. Have you left Google? I have left Google. Wow. Last Are you year. doing this full time? I've been doing this full time for over a year now. Let's go in a different direction for yeah. a second. $500,000 for 10% imputes a 5 million valuation. Yes. I think the product has merit. Please tell me you have sales. So we are pre-revenue. Oh! But let me, let, me come, let me see if I can save myself here. We raised 62,000 two months ago. And what's most important is last month we signed our, our first partnership with Emerson, the Sensi Smart Thermoset. This is a Fortune 200, 130 year old HVAC giant. Huge. And they're huge. And so I'll tell what's you what the they see. How does it work? Partnership is they want to bundle our product with their smart thermostat. Oh, now that's interesting. What's your unique selling proposition on this? You ultimately know exactly when you need to change your air filter. What's really important is we have an add-on for the growing number of homes that are moving towards smart thermostats. We have an integration that transforms your entire, your home's HVAC or the heating and cooling unit into a smart air purifier. How does it do that? What we do is we have a air quality monitor that's paired with our filter. It sends a signal to your smart thermostat to say, hey, air quality is poor. And what happens is the monitor goes red and then sends a signal to your smart thermostat and says, circulate the air. Clever. What, what do you sell this to somebody online for right now, if they right, wanted to buy it? Right now, we sell the this frame and the filter for $99. What is the filter itself what is the cost after blaze I paid the hundred? $20. And then what does it cost you to make the $20 filter? Our cost, so we have a 33% margin and it's shipped. So it shows up at your door. I'm going to guess that there's some very large filter players that already dominate this market because yes. an industrial market has been around for decades. Right. Now, what stops them from just doing the same thing to the existing multi-billion dollar business they have 
and crushing you like the filter roach you are. I know, I must look like a filter roach, but I'll tell you something, this is, this is a great question. Do you have patents? We have patents, they're patent pending. The biggest filter manufacturers, I would say, have reached out. They've deemed us non-competitive and they are now willing to give us their brand, technology and manufacturing to make our filters. So is that a licensing deal you're gonna do with them? And this is this is licensing, licensing, You've licensing. You've come to the right place. Grasshopper will learn. From roach to grasshopper <laughs> oh I become. Oh my lord. <laughs> Listen, Winston, I've heard enough. Sure. I'm gonna make you an offer. You're my favorite filter roach. There's no question <laughs> about it. I'll give you the $500,000. I want 12.5%, but wait, there's more. I want 50 cents royalty on every filter. Oh. When does the royalty end? Never. Oh. <laughs> Well, when, maybe when you and I are both dead. But maybe. wait, there's more. Maybe not. But wait, there's more. There's the, I thank you for the offer. I think what's really important is, <laughs> right now we're, we're a startup, we're growing, and I... Um, so Winston, I'm, there isn't enough in the value proposition for me. And I'll tell you why. Tell me why. It's really easy to change a filter. People aren't doing it. I'm not sure this is gonna compel them to do it. Let me see if I can rope you in with the... Uh, well, I, I think you've got an offer here from yeah. Mr. O'Leary, so I'm not your guy for this one. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Wish away. I'm out. That's it. I, uh, I don't really believe that I can add any value to you, because um, I think you're off on a good start with a good product, so I'm out. All right. Winston, I think you're amazing and incredibly brilliant. Unfortunately, I haven't heard enough for me to gauge what's going to happen with your patents. Because I have some doubts, I'm not going to invest. I'm sorry, I'm out. I like the product, I like you, I like the goal, I like the mission, right? The problem is this is hard to sell. You're gonna have to spend a boatload of money on marketing. Even if you partner with the big companies, even if they use all their outlets, it's still gonna be a hard sale. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Kevin, let me ask you something. With all of us out for various reasons, where are you finding the value in this? Winston is a dual patent guy with sneakers on here. <laughs> That's all I need to know. That's basically it. You have a really tough negotiation ahead with these behemoths. You remind me of Benji Lock. We had to get two lock companies competing with each other. My team worked on it for over a year. It was a tremendous amount of work. Now, unfortunately, I'm not doing it for 12 and a half. I want 15%. I feel a little insulted that you just let me sit there listening to all these sharks squawking. And I want 50 cents in perpetuity on each filter. There is Kevin with another blood-sucking offer. The perpetuity is obviously a challenge. I love that word. That's eating cash flow. It's a big risk. Either I'm going to make a lot of money or I'm going to lose 500,000. Winston, this is your moment. I made you an offer. What do you want to do? Is there a... No. Four sharks are out. Kevin has made an offer of $500,000 for a 15% stake plus a royalty of 50 cents in perpetuity for Winston's smart air filter company, Woosh but Winston is having trouble with the royalty. I swear to you, if you don't take this deal, I won't even remember what Woosh is. <laughs> 50 cents on every filter for perpetuity. It's you don't insane. have to do it, Winston. It's insane, and you, you do know not it. have it's to do it. It's insane, and you know it. If Mark, yeah. if you Listen, believe, you, can counter I mean, all you, want. you do not believe, Mark. And yeah, and Lori, I believe that's the fastest passed. way to go out of business. It's but not going to go out of business because Mr. Wonderful is helping the business grow. Exactly. The perpetuity just locks me out, and I think in the long term. You're exactly right. You know what's going to happen? In 36 months, we're going to be sitting be together broke. just <laughs> like we were. You can make a counter. Can we, can we work with the equity? So you have no, a, a stake because, in the look, company. It's so binary. It's such a small piece of the company. My counter would be. Now I'll bring up the word perpetuity again. Instead of perpetuity, lock me in for the royalty for three years. What happens if it takes us three years to negotiate a deal? You're getting it for that entire time where we're gonna well, exit. We have no for sales, life. Winston. We've got you and the sneakers and the two patents. <laughs> The behemoth player is going to buy me out. They're not going to let me keep the 50 cents. It's the only deal I'm going to do. It's time for you to make a decision. I'll do the royalty, but I'd be taking a, a down route on the equity. 
Can you hold me on my ask for the equity? I'll sign up with you on the royalty for perpetuity. So what's your proposal? With the perpetuity, the, the 500K, 10%. And you get so if I stay at 10% okay. on the equity, yes. you'll do the 50 cent perpetuity? Yes. Done. Yes. Wow.